Hello guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking all about hair, which is kind of ironic seeing as I have my hair tied in a ponytail for the first time ever. I literally never wear my hair up. Um, I've just got back from the nursery run and today I wanted to film all about hair and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to do my hair for this video like I normally do because I can do it in the video. And I've been talking about doing a hair kind of routine product or overarching hair video um, for ages now just to share with you what I use, what I love both in terms of shampoo, conditioner, styling products, um, and tools. So I get tons of questions about waving my hair specifically as well. So I'm gonna be sharing with you how I do it, what I use, what products I use, etc. And I'm gonna start off with product because that kind of makes sense. And then I'm gonna actually style my hair for you guys and show you how I wave my hair on a day-to-day -day basis. Something that I've been doing the, pretty much the same way for um, maybe like five years. And I feel like I've, shown it in videos but I haven't specifically done a video like just talking about that so to start off with my hair is pretty um it's like medium thick I color it I've recently had about six inches chopped off it so it's a lot shorter than it normally is um and in better condition than it normally is um but that is the kind of type of hair that I have so it drinks up moisture if you want to put a mask on it or um any kind of like heavy conditioner it loves that it does tend to like silicone products as well which is that kind of hair like it it likes to be weighed down because it is a little bit dry and frazzled although at the moment like I said because I've cut so much off it potentially not so much but a little bit sticking out there um like I said I've literally just got back from dropping rivet in, in at nursery I brushed it and tied it in a ponytail this morning that's all I've done um so in terms of shampoo and conditioner the one thing that I do have that's fairly fairly sensitive is fairly sensitive is a sensitive scalp um my scalp tends to be somewhat reactive to things which is kind of irritating so I do change my shampoo and conditioner up but to be honest I tend to kind of stick with what I know um to a certain extent as well like I don't change it every single time one product that I love that is not in this video is the Kiehl's amino acid shampoo and conditioner brilliant if you like Kiehl's I was always surprised by the fact that hair care is also brilliant because they're obviously known for skincare. Um, I'm also a massive fan of Purology and I use the Hydrate range um, quite a lot. This is actually a new set. I haven't started using this yet because at the moment I'm currently using um, a shampoo bar and this is a new one from Garnier. I actually worked on the launch of this with them. This is a new one. My current one is in the shower because it's a soap bar. It's not the most practical thing to like get out and show in a video. Um, and actually this is... I've tried a few different options for like no zero plastic or it comes in like a cardboard box that's recyclable and in terms of like waste and plastic it's actually really good but a lot of the shampoo bars that I've used are terrible in terms of your hair like they leave it squeaky do you know what I mean like not a good feel especially if you've got kind of dry hair anyway um, but this is actually really nice it just feels like a regular shampoo I haven't had any issues with my scalp using this um, and it applies really nicely so it's this kind of like ergonomic shape and you like massage it in whilst you're washing it I have worked with Garnier on this product, but this video is not sponsored. This is just me talking about it because I like it. Um, so yeah, I'm using that at the moment. And then um, conditioner wise, I kind of go between the um, Davines Nunu. This is a second part. I've basically just finished um, a part of this. I really like this. And it's kind of like mid-range expensive. Um, I also like the fact that the, the, you can reuse these pots. It's not like a normal conditioner um, where you can't reuse it. It's actually quite good for storing stuff in as well. I like that. And then I also love, I've spoken about this before, and again, I've worked with Garnier on this product before. This is their um, Ultimate Blends Repairing Hair Food Mask. This is the papaya one, which I think is my favourite scent. When I worked on a project with them, it was, I think it's almost a year ago now probably, um, it was for the banana one. I actually prefer the papaya smell, to be honest. And this is brilliant because it's a conditioner, mask, or a leave-in conditioner. So you can kind of use it for a bit of everything. I use this on River's hair as well, um, because it's really good for curly hair. Um, so yes, also love that, another affordable one. And then another affordable conditioner that I really love using. This is just talking you through like everything that I like and use. Obviously I don't use all of this on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, is the L'Oreal LV Dream Lengths Rapid Reviver. I find with conditioners, in terms of like spending a lot of money, like I feel like you can get really good ones on the high street. This one is brilliant because it, it's, it gives you the kind of effects of a mask, like a leave-on mask, but you don't have to leave it for very long. It's like the same as a normal conditioner, but it's like extra conditioning. This is a really good one. This is the Dream Lengths one for longer hair, but they also have a coloured hair one and then I think a 
one from their oil range, which is more for like dry hair. Um, this is the only one I've used actually out of the range. I really, really like it. Um, so that's it in terms of like washing and wet products. In terms of styling products, this is where I tend to spend a bit more money. Um, and to be honest, a leave-in conditioner is something that I have used every time I wash my hair, like for a long time, because I do get really tangly hair because it is quite um, over-processed, over-heated, over-coloured, and also um, quite, it's got quite a lot of texture to it. It gets tangly, like it needs um, a leave-in conditioner. The two that I'm using at the moment, the first one is the Aveda Nutriplenish, and this has been in a recent monthly favourites. Really love this. I can't not mention um, Unite 7 Seconds because that is like a forever favourite for me. I always go back to it. I don't currently have it at the moment, but it is brilliant and if you do have tangly hair and haven't tried that before I would recommend it and the newest one that I've been using is the um, Philip Kingsley Elastis Styler this is the styling version again this has been in a recent monthly favorites this is the styling version of Elasticizer which is their um, like mega hair conditioning treatment which I like but I'm not crazy on it this is really good though it works really nicely if you want an all-rounder product if you don't want to spend a crazy amount of money buying lots of different products this is really good because you can use it as a leave-in conditioner but then also as a kind of hair styler moisturizer type product as well um, what I have to say is I also sometimes use this which kind of takes the place of that it depends how I'm feeling in terms of color this is from living proof again I've spoken about this product loads before and this is the color care whipped glaze this is kind of like a leave-in conditioner but it doesn't have quite the same detangling properties like you could use a leave-in conditioner as well as this I find I don't really need to but what this does do is adds a little bit of tone to your hair so if your hair is feeling a little bit warm and you want to cool down that tone a little bit in between um, getting color in the salon or getting a toner or using a really like hardcore toning treatment, which actually I also have in my shower that I wanted to show you guys, which I will insert a clip of here, um, which is from Amazon. I use this one probably like once every two weeks just to really knock that warmth out. That's a way more intense like purple conditioner. I don't use purple shampoo like every day because I find for me, my scalp doesn't agree with it, but this um, like really hardcore purple treatment actually really works in terms of toning my hair. And then in between using that, I use this, which is brilliant, utterly brilliant. The actual product itself, it just, it's a really nice conditioning product for your hair as well as having that tone. And the mousse kind of means that you can distribute it really well throughout your hair as well. So I really like this. And again, I've used this for about a year. Again, I did work with these guys when it launched, but I'm not working with them now. It's just brilliant. Um, then in terms of other products that I use on my hair, the rest of it is all kind of styling. Um, I would say there's one new product which I've been using for the past week or so, which has actually taken over from all of the other oils that I've been trying. I was previously using the Kerastase one, which I like, but I mean, I feel like it's expensive for what it is. Um, but I just got sent this last week. It's the Living Proof Frizz Vanishing Oil. Um, and I, like, as you will be able to tell from this video, I love Living Proof as a brand. I think they're brilliant. Um, and this is so good. I got sent this, but not sponsored again. Really, really good. If you have um, drier ends and frizzier ends, I've recently obviously got, like I said, got quite a lot of hair chopped off my hair, but I don't have a huge amount of layers. So what I find is that when it gets a little frizzy at the ends, it tends to look a little bushy. And if you put like, or well, gets a bit like, like floofy at the ends, you know, if you put a little bit of oil throughout the ends, this is really nice because it literally just like takes the frizz away, but it's not oily, oily. You just need a tiny, like a couple of drops. Again, I also use this on River's hair because she has curls that sometimes need defining, get a little frizzy, works really well for her as well. Um, <laughs> you're right, Piggy. Piggy's sitting behind me on my chest, having a little shake. Um, so that's really good. And then in terms of the rest of the styling, I also really love, and this is a new discovery but not a new brand for me, the Orbe Super Shine Moisturising Cream. This stuff is brilliant if you want definition um, or if you want to like tame frizz as well. So I feel like you probably could use these together but not necessarily always, sometimes one or the other. This I love when I've waved my hair just to add a little bit more moisture into the ends. Also brilliant for second day hair if you get tend to get dry hair, so good. Um, and I love the fact that it calls it a moisturising cream. It's literally a moisturiser for your hair. So, so good. Um, in terms of dry shampoos. So, I, I didn't used to use dry shampoo as dry shampoo. I used to always use it as a styler. Um, but since I've been going on a Peloton more, doing very sweaty gym sessions, and I only wash my hair twice a week. I try and do it 
twice a week. Sometimes it'll be three times, sometimes, well, never once, twice. I try and do it twice a week. Um, I do use dry shampoo more now. Um, the best one that I've ever used in terms of actually working as a dry shampoo and like cleaning your roots and making them feel like nice and not greasy or not sweaty is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. It is freaking brilliant very limited residue, very limited irritation. And like I said, I have a quite sensitive scalp. So for me, that is a main concern over using dry shampoo. I love Batiste as a styling product. I cannot use it on my scalp because it, it irritates my scalp. They actually discontinued, and you guys, if you follow me a lot, you might remember, I used to love and talk about all the time, their two-in-one um, dry shampoo and conditioner. They discontinued that product and it was so brilliant for styling. This is brilliant for an actual dry shampoo. And then for styling, I use, at the moment, the Way Super Dry um, shampoo with the, the Byredo collaboration one, which smells like Mojave Ghost, which is just, I mean, so good. It smells divine. And I use this more of a styling product on the ends of my hair and also just to fragrance my hair. Like if I'm like on like day four of hair, this is so good because it makes your hair smell fresh and delicious. Um, however, if you have no issues with your scalp and you do have oily hair, the Way Super Dry Dry Shampoo is like very, very effective. The clue is in the name, Super Dry, like it, yeah, it does that. But I personally don't have a greasy scalp and I have a sensitive scalp, so I wouldn't put this on my scalp, if that makes sense. And then last but not least, in terms of actual setting and styling and actually doing something a little bit more than just a dry shampoo, for um, hairspray, I use the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Dry Spun Texture Spray. Super brilliant, love it. I don't use hairspray often because my hair holds a curl pretty well, um, but when I do, like that is what I tend to use. And then lastly, this is a new bottle of this because I had run out and I just reordered it and it's so, so brilliant. So expensive, but so brilliant, is the Orbe Apre Beach. So this is basically, it's actually very similar to the Batiste two-in-one dry conditioner that got discontinued. So if you like the Orbe um, dry texturizing spray, that is brilliant. This is like that, but it's a little bit less dry. So it's kind of has like a little bit of um, oiliness to it. So if you have drier hair, but you still want that texture, in the ends, this is so brilliant. I'm gonna use this once I wave my hair as well just now. So this is awesome. And I could not recommend it enough if you have hair similar to mine, along with all of these other products, hence I'm talking about them. So I'm gonna take my hair down. Like I said, I've literally brushed this this morning and flung it back. So I've probably straightened it yesterday. So as you can see, like it's not frizzy, but it's not like styled. It's just like a bit meh. In terms of hair styling tools, I've kind of tried it all. Um, I have tried pretty much most of the things that come out because of my job, um, obviously YouTube being my job, trying and testing new products. Um, and I have to say, these three um, styling products have been like my go-to for a long time. First things first is the Dyson hair dryer. Um, it is brilliant. I get a lot of questions about Dyson um, hair products and whether or not they're worth the money. In my opinion, they are. It's something that you use every single day. Obviously, I don't use the hairdryer every single day, but Mike does. Um, Mike loves this. Um, I use it, like I said, twice a week because I wash my hair twice a week, but it's something you use a lot. I've had this product since it launched, which I think now must be four or five years ago. Um, never had any issues with it. Brilliant. The tech behind it is brilliant. It's you can't beat it. It's expensive, but it is brilliant. Um, is it essential? Probs not, because there are other hair dryers that are really good and a lot cheaper. So the GHD one is a lot cheaper than this, um, and it is still great, but for me, the Dyson one is the best. There we go. Um, in terms of straighteners, I also have been using the Dyson Corral straighteners since they launched. Again, this was a product that I did um, a paid collaboration with with Dyson when they launched this. None, nothing is sponsored in this video, so. Um, the thing that I love about these is that they are cordless. It sounds like a bit of a gimmick, but actually when you're using these day to day, travel wise, obviously it is a benefit, but the charging time is only, or the, the um, charge, not charge, the battery life is only half an hour. So if you're going away for longer than like one night, two nights maybe, probably like not the greatest benefit, but in terms of actually using them, it's also great because you just don't have to think about it. You just put them back in the dock, pick them up, brilliant. The technology behind these is also brilliant in terms of um, less, or like minimizing the damage to your hair and straighteners are 
super damaging for your hair. Um, so I've been using these and I'll show you how I use these. I basically use them on the front when I'm curling my hair, but I also use them to straighten my entire hair when I just want to smooth it out. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I do also love the GHD um, straightening brushes, both the Glide and I can't remember what the other one is called, the round one um, that's just come out that loads of people did stuff, sponsored stuff around when it launched. That's how long they take to heat to the maximum heat. So they're pretty quick as well. Um, obviously, I don't know if you saw that, but I turned them on when I started talking about them. Um, however, I would say with those, they are brilliant, I do use them, but you don't need them. Like if you've got a good pair of straighteners, that's all you need. Good hair dryer, good pair of straighteners, and a good curling tong. And this is what I want to talk about the most because this genuinely has been my most used, I'm turning it on now and it will tell you when it's fully heated, my most used hair toil, tool, toil, tool, tool of all time. Um, this is the GHD Curve Waving Wand. I have used this pretty consistently since I got it about five years ago. Um, I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about the Dyson Air Wrap. Do I still use it? Not at the moment. The Dyson Air Wrap is brilliant. The technology is fantastic. However, if you've got thicker hair like mine, it takes a long time to do your hair with. It's something that I use for special occasions and therefore in the past six or seven months, I have not used it at all. Um, but if I'm going somewhere and I want to get like a blow dry look at home, I can't blow dry my own hair like with a hot, with a brush and a hair dryer. I just can't do it. Um, especially, I probably might be able to now it's a bit shorter, but especially when it was longer, it's just like a no go for me because my arms are not long enough. Um, however, my mum has an air wrap um, and she uses it every single time she washes her hair. She's got very fine hair. It's about shoulder length. It looks fantastic to the point where my mum can't style hair. She doesn't know like what to do. She just used to just rough dry it and then maybe use a straightener every now and again. And she's got a fringe as well. It works super well for her fringe. She's gone from being like, you know, basic, just like air dry her hair, like maybe rough dry it, to looking like she stepped out of a freaking salon every time she washes her hair because it's so easy for her. Um, so if you do have fine hair and shorter hair, I hear a lot of people saying that the air wrap is better for longer hair and I completely disagree. I think it's best if you've got fine, sh like mid length hair. It's absolutely fantastic. She literally looks, it looks amazing. So um, that's the down, like low down with the air wrap for me. The air app is fantastic. I do still have mine. I bought mine as well. Um, so maybe that it will like, I don't know. I, personally, I don't it, see a difference between if I get sent something or if I bought it. Um, I talk about things the same way and that's ha always how I've approached my YouTube channel in terms of being straightforward with you guys and talking about products that I love. I always try everything before I accept anything sponsored. Um, make sure I've given it like a good road test. So with the Dyson Air Wrap, I actually bought that, spoke about it a lot just off my own back. And then I did do a sponsor project with them um, as well. So, I mean, take from that what you will. I don't use it every day, but it is a brilliant tool. For me, these three, including the um, supersonic hairdryer, I was trying to remember the name then, it's like the trifecta of hairstyling for me. So I'm gonna style my hair. I'm also just gonna run and get my brush because I've completely forgotten it and I need it and I wanna talk about it as well. Okay, so brush wise, I have used a wet brush for ages now. Um, for me, these guys absolutely knock the socks off tangle teasers. If you're currently using a tangle teaser, they're so much better. I am actually using the travel version at the moment because the full size version is downstairs and I couldn't be bothered to go and get it, but it basically does the same thing. Literally, if you've got tangly hair, it is so good. And if you've got kids as well that hate having their hair brushed, this makes very, very light work of it. So what I'm gonna do, I actually don't have a mirror in front of me. Um, so if you see me looking off over here, it's because I'm looking at the monitor, but I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna style my hair like that. So I have a very weird parting. It like goes wonky at the front and I cannot, it will not, cannot, will not go in a straight line. Like no matter what I've tried, no matter what, which hairstylist is trying to do it. So I just have like a diagonal parting at the front there. Anyway, so this is my hair brushed. What I'm gonna do first is straighten these front bits which is terrible damage wise. I went through a bit of a phase of trying to not use heat on my hair um, and I've kind of abandoned it because it's so hard to make it look good. If I'm just like about the house, I won't, but man, it's hard work. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just straighten this front bit 
Again, like I said, with the Dyson is really good in terms of minimizing damage because the tech that's behind it is brilliant. I'm not actually gonna talk about it because it's really long winded and I'm only, I'm literally only using it um, to straighten these little front bits before I wave it. But basically it's all about like heat distribution and it's grip on the hair and you have to go over the hair less times, etc. So less damage is always good, especially when it comes to straightening because it is very um, intense heat on your hair. So I've done the front bit. What I'm now gonna do, I'm aware I've got a bit of greasy, greasy going. It's not too greasy, but it's like, yeah, it's like third day hair, fourth day hair? Can't remember when I last washed my hair. I'm gonna take my waving wand. And what I always do is I start, I'm gonna try and talk you through this and then speed because um, otherwise we're gonna be here all day. I start on the front and I wave away, wave a, I take a section about that big, I never section it properly. I go up and over my head like that. I do it round twice away from my face and then I move the wand up and down like this. So almost like sliding my hair up and down. And this was a tip that I got from, I can't remember which hairstylist told me this, but it gives it more of like a bounce, um, gives the curl more of a bounce. And if you separate this section rather than bunching, I'm gonna show you in the next one, that's the kind of wave it creates. So I do this twice in the same direction, take another section, do exactly the same thing. Um, whereas if you do it together, that's what I was gonna show you, if you like wrap it over itself a bit closer together, you get more of a curl. Whereas if you separate it out and do it more diagonally, like that, you get more of a wave. And again, slide up and down, now the GHD says it curls in five seconds. I actually usually leave it on for about 10, like that. And I try and avoid going right to the end of the hair because I like straight ends. It gives it more of like a rocky kind of edgy look. So I'll do two there going away from the face. And then what I do after that is alternate. Now I've changed up how I do this over the years. Sometimes if I want more of like a uniform wave and I'll insert pictures of what I mean by this. Um, if I want more of a, I've got like a cat knot in my hair, hang on a sec. If I want more of a uniform look to the waves, I will just keep going away from the face. But if you want more of like a, a I've still got this knot. It's like a knot right up here. If you want more of like an even look where it's um, an uneven look, even more like a beachy wave, then you want to alternate, go away from the face, towards the face, away from the face, towards the face. But I always do, sorry, there's like a, crazy knot in my hair. I always do um, the first two away from the face and then go into alternating. So then I'll go towards the face. And this is something that when you're doing it in a mirror is a lot easier. <laughs> um, but it takes me probably, I think seven minutes from start to finish to do my entire head with waves like this. It's very, very quick. So what I'm gonna do now is go and do the rest of my hair and then come back to you and show you how I style it. But as you can see, super easy. And you get like pretty funky looking waves right now, but when you put product in them, you'll see it kind of just loosens it all up and creates the most perfect beachy waves ever. And so quick. Okay, so that is having waved everything. And as you can see, the curls are looking like pretty defined, flat on top. I'm gonna use three different styling products now. So the first thing I'm gonna use is my Living Proof Dry Shampoo at the roots, like I said, because I have, this is like day four after washing. So I tend to go like on my temples, at my roots there, and then underneath at the back too. And then just kind of work that in. The reason why I love this dry shampoo so much is because it doesn't leave a really obvious white cast. It literally just like disappears into the hair. What you can do is like massage it in and then brush it out. But because I've styled it, I'm not gonna brush it out. I'm just gonna kind of work it into my hair and that will help just keep everything, ow, I just caught my earring with my finger, don't do that. Um, just keep everything kind of looking a bit more fresh and a bit more, a bit more volume than there was there before. And then just like work it out with my fingers a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is pop some of the Orbe Apre Beach into the mid lengths and ends. So you can see that's broken up the curl a bit already, but this will do it even more. Just a little bit, and that's the thing with this product, don't eat it like I just did, but you don't want very much of it because it has that slight oiliness to it as well. It, you, you have to be careful, you don't want to overdo it, otherwise you can 
end up looking a bit greasy. But what it does do is add, it's kind of like a salt spray mixed with a texture spray. Like, you know, like the wet salt spray. It's like a dry shampoo salt spray, which is, yeah, I mean, the best. So that's what you get, like that. And you can brush it out if you want, but I usually don't. I always have my hands in my hair and like playing with my hair and stuff. So that's the kind of look. I usually tuck this side behind my ear. That's like my kind of thing. But you just get that really nice kind of waved effect. And then what I'm gonna do finally is take a tiny bit, it doesn't really need it because it's not looking too dry today. Tiny bit of the moisturizing cream and just put this on the ends. And this just helps give you a little bit of definition. And if you have any frizz going on, it will like kind of get rid of that. So that's the look, day four curls. That's how I wave my hair. It's how I've waved my hair for ages. Give or take some of the products. Like I feel like I've spoken about a lot of product in this video, but as you can see, like when I'm styling it, I'll use three, but they're the ones that I tend to use and kind of go back to when I chop and change. I don't use exactly the same product every single time apart from the like tools. So yeah. That is it, that is it for my hair video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm sorry it's been quite a while coming. I've been talking about doing it for ages. Um, now I have nice hair and I've got nowhere to go. Go and pick up River from nursery, looking all glad. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon. And if you have any recommendations of hair products you think I would like based on these, let me know in the comments, let everyone else know in the comments, share the info, love that. Um, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye guys.